What's up guys? My name's Carl Golden and welcome to Golden Studios. You may have seen yesterday that Ernie Ball released their brand new VP Junior volume pedal and I am fortunate enough to have it here with me today. So I checked this out at the NAMM show in January and this looked incredible. Let's get it open. So when you first open it up, you've got your instructions. Okay, so you've got your lovely packaging and your instruction manual. Let's put that to one side. It comes in four different colors, so I've got the black one here. You can also get the white, silver, and red. The idea of this pedal is to maximize the space on your pedal board. So this is a combination of a tuner and a volume pedal. Let's get this bad boy plugged in and look at some of its features. This pedal has an advanced definition touchscreen tuner and graphic volume display. There is lots of options for frequencies when tuning if you double tap anywhere on the lower half of the touchscreen when the tuner is displayed. You can change the reference to then pitch the tuner. The volume screen shows a readout of the output signal from 1 to 10, where 10 is the loudest. By double tapping anywhere on the upper half of the touchscreen, it will display the main menu where you can choose from three different modes. So in mode one, you've got the volume and tuner displayed. The graphic volume readout is displayed when the pedal is moved down towards your toes and the tuner is displayed in the opposite way when the pedal is positioned in the minimum volume near your heel, allowing for silent tuning. In mode two, it's volume only. So the graphic volume readout is displayed at all times, no matter what the position. Finally, in mode three, it's the tuner only. So the tuner is displayed at all times, no matter the position. You can lock the touchscreen by holding this little paddock sign in the bottom left. This is handy, of course, if you don't want any settings to change while you're rocking out. So for rig one, we've got a really simple setup. So we've got my guitar going into the in of the pedal, which you can see there. Then the out is going to my amp, which we can see over here and then that controls the volume of my guitar. Okay, so we have rig one where the tuner is engaged, where it's right down to your heel. So I should be able to tune my guitar now and you should hear no sound coming through. And now, if I go forward, So as you can see here, and that is rig one. And here we've got rig two, so my guitar going to the input, and then from the output, I'm going to another pedal, so I've decided to do a phase shifter and then that's going to, from the pedal, to my amp. So here's rig two. Got the tuner on, so it's down by the heel. If we go forward. <laughs> I need to put a bit more gain on that. Let's put some gain on. So as with rig one, it's basically the same apart from you've got some extra pedals afterwards. And so anything after the volume pedal, you'll be controlling how much you'll hear that. So for rig three, we've got the guitar going into the input, same as before, but this time we've got a pedal going through the effects loop. So from the ascend effects, I'm going into the input of my mega distortion, and then from the output, I've got that going to the uh, return. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. So I've got my guitar set with a little bit of gain. 
and I can control that with my foot pedal. Let's turn on the mega distortion. And that's your rig three. So another thing I want to add is how clear this screen looks. So if you're gigging live, that's great. <laughs> how easy that is to see. This last fourth rig, which is probably my favorite. So as per all the other ones, the guitar is going to the in. Um, I've got my mega distortion going into the effects loop, but this time from the output, we're gonna be going uh, into the input of my tuner, then output to the amp, which is over there. So what this allows you to do is, when um, you turn your delay on, and you play a note, and you turn this right down, the delay trail stays there, and it sounds awesome. So let's give that a go. So once again, I've got a little bit of gain on my guitar, which we can hear. We can engage the mega distortion, which is in the effects loop. Let's say I want to do a solo. I need some delay, man. Let's put that delay on. But the cool thing is, the delay trail still goes afterwards when you turn the volume pedal down, so. So you've got that nice bit of ambience. So that's the four different ways you can kind of wire up your Ernie Ball tuner and expression pedal. Once again, how great does that look? That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. In other exciting news, I've published my first book, which is this bad boy. So the Ultimate Guitar Scales book. It's available on my website as an ebook or on Amazon as an ebook if you prefer to get it on there. Or you could get the paperback versions in some countries. I'm hoping to be selling it on my website for countries that can't actually get the paperback version, but stay tuned for that. But if you wanna learn some more scales or some useful shapes, this will be the book for you. I know it's been a long time in the making, but I'm gonna be uploading the next part of the 100 riffs tomorrow, fingers crossed, or Friday. I'm hoping to get it all finished today after I've finished filming this video. So stay tuned for that as well. I truly appreciate all support. I know I've been very quiet over the last year, but that is down to the fact that myself and my wife have had a baby and I'm working out logistics of uh, being able to be a stay-at-home dad and do the YouTube at the same time. It's all gonna work out good. It's gonna be exciting. From April, I'm hoping to get out three to five videos a week, like the good old days. I thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I really do miss doing all these videos and you'll see a lot more from my channel very soon. Take care, guys. Mwah.